Okay, hello everybody, my name is Andre Roberts from Sintamani.co.uk and what I'll be running through is how to connect one of our Android tablets onto the Wi-Fi. Now this can be this method can be used for all other Android devices. We at Sintamani in the time that we've been trading have had a number of customers always ask for little bits of help and advice in how to connect onto Wi-Fi or how to use 3G or how to connect properly and things like that. So what we've decided to do is create a small series of videos that are going to address some of these issues and hopefully get you all up and running on your Android tablets. Now I must stress these are, we're going to show you how to connect on our own devices. Of course we won't use anybody else's but these are going to be all on the either the Android Licorice, the Sintamani Licorice tablet that we have in front of us, or the Sintamani Oregano, or possibly the Spearmint or the Chipotle, you know, other Windows tablets as well. So let's get right stuck in here. Um, as you can see, touch screen there. So to get onto the Wi Fi, we must first access the settings. The settings is this little icon here. You can just about see that there. You just push that, and then you go to Wi Fi and Networks at the top. And then the first thing you must do is turn on the Wi-Fi. Without doing this, the Wi-Fi will not your Wi-Fi will not be visible at all. Now what I am doing is I'm using a three dongle, a pretty good dongle I suggest using if you just want to use mobile internet on the go. And you can kind of just see it there. So I'm going to be connecting to this which is which is my Wi-Fi, which allows me to have Wi-Fi wherever I go. Okay, so now that the Wi-Fi is turned on, oh it's already connected to something just going to connect to another network which is a 3 network so once you push the Wi-Fi, oh, I'll go back one once you push the Wi-Fi settings there once it's turned on it takes you to a new page where you can view the Wi-Fi networks that you're close to as you can see you can scroll you can see many different things that you have to that you can choose to connect to and we're going to choose to connect onto the 3 mobile Wi-Fi so when you click it it'll come up with a page that asks, prompts you for a password. Now this is usually the password that comes with your Wi-Fi device. It's usually printed on it somewhere within the instructions manual of your Wi-Fi device or usually printed on the back. It's usually referred to as a Wi-Fi key. So to enter in the password, whether it be letters or numbers, you can use letters in front of you or you can change the keypad into the number format so you can enter the numbers that are required. Now I must stress very much so that the password has to be entered as you see it on printed in your instructions manual or on your device. This being said, we have a lot of customers come, um, come back to us referring that their BT or their Sky broadband doesn't seem to work on the device itself. This is because they've entered in the password incorrectly. And I'll just show you what I mean. If you have a password that says ASA, for example, as I've just typed there, if it's printed in capital letters on the back of your Wi-Fi device, then you must enter it in capital letters. So to do this, you just push this button here. Can you see that, the up arrow? This changes the characters into higher case. Okay, on, off. And if you push it once more, you see that little green light there shows that the caps lock is on hold. So caps lock relative to what you have on your laptop or your PC, this is the same feature there. Okay, then enter the password. Fortunately, in our case, for the Wi-Fi dongle, it's all in numbers, so I'll just add it now. There. Once you've done that, Often people ask, oh, I can't see where the password is, what do I do next? So you just click done. And then you can see a little button there that says connect. Now you can also show the password as well, which may be easier and help you typing it in. You just push connect there. Now what you'll notice is once it's done, it says scanning, then obtaining IP address, then probably authenticating, and then it jumps on and connects onto the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network. Now often it can come up and say it shows up scanning, then authenticating, then trying to obtain the IP address, and then it just goes back to disconnected. Should it do this, this means that you've entered in the wrong password. So I must stress once more that you must enter your password case sensitive. This is usually the problem with about 99.9% .9 of the people that come back to us saying the Wi-Fi doesn't work. It's because they've entered the password incorrectly. So, and that is your demonstration of how to add the Wi-Fi on a Android tablet, in this case the Sintamani Licorice tablet PC.
you can also just showing you there the on off switch there for your power control and I'll go and show you that later in another one of the videos so this has been Andre Roberts from Sintamani.co.uk demonstrating how to connect a Sintamani licorice tablet PC onto the local Wi-Fi network thanks for watching